this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn how to simulate rain. So we're going to make it seem like it was actually raining at the time the photo was taken. Now it does help to use an appropriate image for this. So you want an image where it has already rained or it's about to rain or it is raining but you want to just accentuate that it was raining more. So essentially you're exaggerating here the amount of rain that is going on even if it's not like this in this case. So the first thing that we need to do is just double click on our background layer here just to unlock it, transform it into a regular layer. And now we're just going to add a little bit more size to the canvas here because when we add the effect, the edges of the effect won't look quite right. So we want to make it a little bit bigger so we can just crop off the edge. So we're, we're keeping the image the same size. The image itself we're not going to crop, we're just adding to the, to the edges here. So I'm going to click on relative here and I'm using a, a quite a small image size here so I'm just going to add just 50 pixels. But essentially what you want is just a comfortable margin for you to be played, to, for you to play around with so that when you add the effect you can just crop the edges of the effect that won't look quite right here at the beginning but inside of the photo look just fine. So that's the first step. Now what we need to do is just add a new layer and fill that in with black. So I'm doing an alt and backspace since black is my foreground color. And I'm going to add some noise. So I'll go to filter, noise, and add noise. And what we're looking to do here is have an amount of around 100% distribution Gaussian and monochromatic. So you want it not looking like this. You want it looking like that. Just dots on black and white of an even distribution of black and white like so. So I'm going to click OK, and now I'm going to go into my uh, groups. I'm just going to add here a new group and add this layer here into my new group. And also, from the new group here, I'm going to change the mode from pass-through to normal. And uh, the reason I'm doing that is so that I'm going to apply an effect here to this uh, soon. And I want it to only affect this layer. And it's a little bit better here to to use the uh, the group function here. You can use clipping masks as well, but the group, um, it, it keeps it a little bit, it's a little bit simpler and you can add a lot more things going on um, without it getting complicated. So if this is sounding weird to you, just just trust me, just add something to the uh, to the group here and change the mode from pass through to normal, which anything that you add now to the group will only affect things in the group and not the layer outside of that group. So what we need to do here is just add some um, we're going to add some blur to this, a little bit of blur. So I'm going to go for a Gaussian blur and just add in a 0.4 just to have a little bit of a blur there. And now we're going to go into filter again and blur and do a motion blur. And with the motion blur, what we're looking to do here is looking to actually have that rain effect. So you want an angle where, you know, it makes sense to have the rain coming in at. And uh, this is up to you how much of the rain and what angle you think it's coming through. Generally, when the rain is like that, it's a little bit more of a very strong rain, so it kind of depends how much you want to accentuate that. And also, the, the distance that you put. So you can have, you, you definitely don't want to look like dots, you want it to look like it's rain, so you can add a little bit of it, like so. You don't want to go too much like it's brushed metal, right? You don't want this effect. So you want it to look like rain, so just use an amount appropriate. Uh, 21 or in the 20s here it works really well for this image if you hi have a higher resolution image of course you want to use more pixels for that so you just play around with and get a, a look that is around like that like so we're gonna click OK and now here's the moment where we are adding our effect here we're gonna add a layer uh, levels uh, effect here an adjustment layer but we want the levels to only affect our layer here and not the other bit here. And what we want to do here, I'm just going to click OK for now because what I want to show you is we're going to change the mode here from normal. We're going to change this over to screen because essentially we want that rain to come through our uh, our picture. And you can see how it's starting to look now. But if we go back into levels, now it's easier to see that when we play around with the levels, for example, play around with the black slider here, we're, we're removing a lot of the, that excess white and the excess rain and actually starting to define more of the raindrops that you start seeing coming through here. Now if you're playing with the white here then we start bringing in the raindrops a little bit more obvious like so. So you want to play around with that a little bit and if you play with the middle slider then it starts looking a little bit odd. <laughs> so you, you generally want to probably leave the middle slider as it is and you want to play with a little bit bringing in the white slider so that the rain is a little bit more uh, a little bit more contrasty so the white is a little bit brighter and then you want to play around with the blacks to remove some of the rain 
and you want to get it to a point where it's starting to look natural. Right now, it looks like it's heavy rain, but it's very the 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 white is coming through a little too thickly. So I'm actually going to bring this down a little bit less. So it has a little bit more of a of a natural rain effect as opposed to scratches on my lens. So I want to actually dial that back almost entirely here and bring that black a little bit back just so that we're getting that heavy rain like so. Okay, once we're satisfied with that, we can click OK. And now, like I said, we added the effect and the edges actually don't look quite right because you can see it's not, it's, it's a little bit too thick on the edges there. So now what we're going to do is just select our original background layer here. We're going to hold down Control and click to make a selection. And we're going to go to Image and Crop. Okay, so now we're essentially done with this. But the good thing about um, applying the levels here is that first of all you can see the before and you can see the after, right? And you can go back into your levels at any point. That's the advantage of it, keeping it as a as a uh, as an adjustment layer. Is that we can now go back in and also tweak, you know, tweak that amount of the uh, of the rain, and uh, get it to a level, you know, to a point where we uh, like and it looks natural. So I think we'll we'll go with this effect here. So that's how you create rain on photos. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.